52 from Baxter Arena in Omaha, Nebraska. Our victory post-fight breakdown is brought to you by Alienware, the ultimate gaming experience. He's Joe Wilk, I'm Sean Wheelock. Joe, a stack victory card in VFC 52 definitely delivered. Yeah, bright lights, big fights, huge prospects here in the VFC. Ryan Stoddard, the head of victory, also the matchmaker, knows how to put together compelling fights. And we open with a compelling fight in the bantamweight division, the undefeated Shane Lealoha versus Corey Roberts. Lealoha able to establish his game plan, gets a takedown, never let Corey Roberts off the hook, ends up submitting him with a rear naked choke to stay undefeated. Our second fight of the night, also at 135 pounds, Ian Lujan facing Demetrius Wilson. Ian Lujan looked dangerous off his back, wasn't able to finish any of his submissions. Demetrius Wilson able to get the W. Big win for Demetrius Wilson. In the featherweight division, John Ramirez of Honduras versus the Nigerian Sadiq Youssef. Ramirez had his moments, but most of this fight was dominated by Youssef. On the feet, on the ground, great showing by Youssef. Two very talented, promising welterweights, both undefeated. Ivy Nixon taking on Dwayne Johnson. I love this fight. What a fun fight to watch. Ivy Nixon, always fun to watch. Dwayne Johnson, wily veteran, 200 amateur fights, able to get the win by decision against the very tough Ivy Nixon. In the 135-pound division, the veteran Charlie Dubre versus the top prospect, Rafian Stotts. We've seen a lot from Rafian Stotts in the VFC, a lot of variety, knockouts, wrestling, submissions, and we see another one here tonight, rear naked choke win over Charlie Dubre. A lot of animosity between these two featherweights, Christian Camp and another top prospect, Grant Dawson. A lot of talk, but a pretty one-sided fight here. Grant Dawson, very talented young man, controlled much of this fight, Cut camp very badly, ends up finishing him in the second round. Our co-main event in the welterweight division, Jason Witt versus Dakota Cochran fighting in his hometown of Omaha. Jason Witt gave Dakota everything he could handle, but Dakota, just too tough, hangs in there, able to get this win via a rear naked choke against the very tough Jason Witt. And our main event of the evening, Maki Pitolo versus Cassius Kane. Coconut bombs, cuts Mock, or Maki cuts Cassius Kane early in the fight. Cassius does a good job recovering, but it just wasn't enough. Maki controls on the ground and gets the win. Joe, we're seeing young fighters emerge in victory. We're seeing veterans continue to be relevant. This was really an outstanding card. Again, it delivered on all levels. Yeah, it was unbelievable. You know, we had people tweeting from all over the world. The crowd was loving the fights. We're loving the fights. I'm loving life right now. And Ryan Stoddard and the Victory Fighting Championship, they have to be loving life also, Sean. He's Joe Wilk. I'm Sean Wheelock. Thanks for watching VFC 52.